What's up everybody, it's Mr. McCullough here with this week's creative assignment. We are in creative week number eight and it is all about the storyteller. So pay attention, follow along, and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to do to get this week's assignment done. First off, ladies and gentlemen, creative week number eight is called the storyteller. For this assignment, you're gonna be creating a video that tells a story. And so to do this, you're going to need to think about an interesting story that you could tell through video and then create it. So you can use pictures, you can use videos, you can use clips from the internet, from social media, from a video game that you play. Wherever you can find videos, new or old, you can use them. Just mix it up, be creative, and tell a story like only you can. As far as possible ideas for your video goes, there's a bunch of different things that you could do to, in order to make your video interesting, a lot of stories you could tell that will work perfectly for something like this. So you could talk about life in the pandemic, and there's a bunch of stuff that could include what eating food is like, going out to restaurants, things you might miss, the way people behave, things you notice, right? How you cook something, maybe you got the best recipe for French toast and eggs in the world. Uh, tell me about that. Show me what that story looks like. You can take your video or you can take pictures and clips from the internet. Either way it works. I always think using your own stuff is the best, but using other stuff always works too. Gamer life. If you're a gamer, you know what I'm talking about, right? But how does your setup like? What games are you playing? How do you play? What goes through your mind as you do it? Maybe something you saw. Maybe something you did. Maybe a reaction to something in the news. Either way, there are a bunch of ideas you can use to tell your story. As far as requirements, the things that I'm looking for, your video needs to be at least one minute long. It needs to have your voice in order to tell the story. It should have at least four different videos or pictures, although you're probably gonna use more. When you see my example, you'll see what I mean by that. But you have to have at least have four, but trust me, you're gonna want more than four. It also should have a title and credits at the end. A title is just the name of whatever your video is, so you can call it Creative Week 8, you can call it The Storyteller, or you can call it something else. Credits are just what you see at the end of a movie or a show. So, who made it or who produced it or who started it, give yourself credit. Last but not least, it needs to be uploaded to YouTube. If you're looking for bonus, add music, in fact, I recommend adding music anyway because music is a good way to keep your video full of energy and full of life and keep it flowing, okay? So use one of your beats because if you use a popular song or a song that somebody owns, uh, they will take it down from YouTube. But yeah, those are the things you need in your video. Now when it comes for the steps for this project, breaking down each part, if you've been doing the classwork this week, then you've already done half of the project. The first step to any project as far as creating a video is just to plan. Thinking about how you want your video to look and just plan ahead. If you did the classwork Monday, you already did that. Next up is to shoot. In this case, you might be shooting video or you might be grabbing video from different places. Either way, it was a part of Classwork Tuesday, so make sure you got that done. Now we're moving on to step three and four, which is to edit your video, put everything together, and make it the best video possible, okay? Um, I'll talk more about that in my tutorial, different things you can do to make your video better, but that's the third part. And then last but not least, of course, upload your work to YouTube. Share it, right? It doesn't do us any good to make all these great videos if nobody ever sees it. So upload your work to YouTube, send me the link, and that is the last step to the assignment. Now, if you want a little bit more details of what I mean when I said this stuff was a part of our classwork, if you just go through the slides, part one, this was the last part of Monday's classwork. Part two, same deal. Part three, which is to edit, is what we're working on now, which is means now that you got a story to tell and you know how you want it to look, you're just putting everything together. And part four, of course, is just to share everything out. So. I hope this explains to you how to get the assignment done. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and watch the next video where I explain 
some tips and tools on how to make a better video and I even show you my own video that'll help you hopefully make yours even better. Hope this helps.